transparency mean, and especially in the case of international sports federations, that, uh, that those sports federations uh, make information available. Um, that allows external actors, and in this case it could be fans, media, sponsors, governments, athletes, um, uh, to monitor the internal workings and performances of the organization. Um, to be more uh, specific, uh, there are three elements of uh, transparency. You could have transparency about uh, decision making, uh, transparency about policy, and transparency about uh, the policy performance, the results of the, of the policy. And so key for transparency is accurate information. In a more extreme way, uh, transparency or the lack of transparency could lead to uh, a lack of opposition to the, uh, the ones that are in power. Um, and if there is a lack of opposition, because it's not open what they are doing, um, that could lead to a misuse of power or mis financial mismanagement or even corruption. So transparency in a way is a value, uh, but it's also a means to fight corruption. Technically speaking, on every aspect of transparency, most uh, um, international sports federations can improve. For instance, uh, make sure that, the, that you have the minutes of your board meetings completely uh, published. Uh, but not only uh, the completeness is, uh, is, is uh, of importance, but also uh, the color of the information so that it is neutral. And the usability of, uh, uh, of the information so that we can all as outsiders understand what, what's on paper or what's on the website. But to me, the, the greatest challenge is not the technical uh, improvement of, of transparency, but it's about changing the whole culture of secrecy into a culture of transparency. I would say that uh, in the end, sports organizations will be more transparent. I'm very positive about that, but uh, we will need to, in a way, force them or make the incentives for them to be more uh, transparent.